In the video shown in part 7, we perform our first recon and we use reconciliation to actually fix an attribute, in that case, an entitlement, in that case was the membership that uh, Eric Power have to the backup operators group, uh, that uh, we went outside the tool and eliminate him from, from that group and we performed the recon and voila, I didn't fix that because we asked him to uh, correct things that are out of compliance. In the, in the same way, you could actually remove things that I'm not supposed to have, and somebody gave it to me outside the tool. But that was th those things were done with with uh, entitlements, accounts that I have. Uh, we're going to show how we can fix actually uh, changes that I do outside the tool with attributes. As we did, as we built from the previous uh, video from part eight, uh, we create row one and row and row two. And uh, if we go here as, uh, for example, Jane Smith, and see what accounts do we have, we see that we don't have. Oh, we we do B O A D. Okay, pretty good. We don't have any membership or any group, but James Smith is is in here. So actually, we can go into AD to see that, and James Smith is there. But notice that there's nothing on the description. Pretty good. Now let's go and has and have a Jeff ask for membership to row one. So he's going to request access to row one. And that's the one we want. Request that. We see our request is successful. Therefore, if I were to refresh here in AD, bang, Benson got the, the, the Jane Smith actually got the value one. So, as expected, nothing, nothing nothing different in here. But remember that we put this mandatory and we said the, the service to correct things that are abnormal. So what happens if I go here and I make this value 23? Yeah, That's because I'm bypassing the tool, I'm doing that. Now it's value 23. Pretty good. If I go in item and perform a recon that you can do daily, you know, if you want to. Actually we are logging here as a edit Hours. Let's log in as the IT manager. And we're going to go into services. We search for the BOAD and we're going to recon now. Well, that, that field is mandatory and uh, therefore once the recon finishes, which should be pretty quickly we already did that. When we go to AD, what do you expect to see? That that value was put back into value one because we asked IT team to actually enforce and correct. We made the, the attribute mandatory and we asked uh, the service to, to correct uh, abnormalities that are found outside the tool. So you cannot bypass IT. Team. It's a closed loop system and uh, by performing daily or sometimes uh, twice a day or if you have something that is very critical you know that depends on the criticality you may have multiple reconciliation uh, performs uh, for different type of for catching different type of behavior but you cannot uh, uh, outrun item here because the recon will catch all those things